Alrighty, what is up guys, xr 19 here, so there's a lot to unpack, so let's just jump straight into the changes. So first change, uh, Sombra's rework is finally coming to Overwatch 2 in Season 7, so that's great. Any Sombra mains out there, I hope you're excited and ready to play her, um, because finally Sombra's getting changed. It's been like, we've been waiting forever for that to happen, but anyways, up next is changes to Orisa and Torbjorn. Uh, Orisa's Fortify will now grant 125% or not percent, sorry, 125 bonus health uh, and at the start of her damage falloff will be extended. Torbjorn will get a faster fire rate for his primary um, and a faster weapon swap. That's pretty interesting, faster weapon swap, hmm, that's like first time I think. Uh, up next, Soldier's Helix Rockets will receive a nerf in Overwatch 2 Invasion. The team admit that Soldier 76 uh, got quite a buff, but don't believe he is oppressive. They will reduce the damage on his helix rockets and slightly increase uh, the cost of his ultimate. Cool, finally soldier nerf. Uh, up next, Cassidy's magnetic grenade will see its, ra uh, its range nerf in Overwatch 2. Its maximum range will shorten quite a bit, um, a 1.5 second max travel time, uh, but Cassidy will also get a health buff in return uh, and some changes to the damage fall off. Okay. Um, up next is Kiriko. Uh, changes to Kiriko's protection Suzu in Overwatch 2. When Suzu cleanses a negative effect, it will do an ad uh, additional burst of healing and uh, its knockback is being removed. So I remember at first when I when Kiriko came out, I thought I was tripping. But I remember, I think either it was me getting booped or either it was me playing Kiriko that booped someone. And I got a kill and I was like, wait... Did I just use my cleanse to boop someone? Like, I didn't know the cleanse could boop someone. Everyone told me, nah, you're tripping, right? But apparently I went into practice range the other day and I tested it out and it actually worked. I actually booped someone. It's like, I didn't even know that for a long time because I thought it was like, I thought it was just a bug or something, you know, but... Uh, Life Fever is getting even more buffs in Overwatch 2 Invasion, so... Um, the team are focusing on his survivability, converting some of his health to shields and upping the healing from rejuvenating dash. Uh, part of his ultimate's healing will now be converted into overheld. So his ultimate, the tree healing thing, whatever you call it, right? Tree of life healing is getting buffed, so that's pretty cool to see. Um, up next is Mercy finally getting a damage boost nerf in Overwatch 2. Uh, Mercy, uh, Mercy's damage boost impl uh, implicification, whatever you call it, her damage boost staff will be reduced from 30% to 25%. That was much needed in my opinion. Um, even, like honestly, I would say even 15%. Go Make it go down to 15%. Um, but I'm okay with that. She finally got nerfed, so hey, that's that. Um, but uh, anyways... That is everything here. Tell me what you guys think about all these changes. Um, I'm also going to be covering the, you know, PV story modes and new battle pass and brand new hero once it uh, all comes out in like less than a week. Uh, but until next time, I'm Extra19 and I'm out. Peace.